Prostate cancer is the most prevalent form of cancer in men, with nearly 200,000 new cases diagnosed in the United States each year. But at Grant Medical Center, doctors are extremely encouraged by a treatment strategy that stops cancer cold. Chris Weber reports. When Don Day learned he had prostate cancer, he researched all of his options, from total prostate removal to external beam radiation to radioactive seed therapy. But the more he learned about another alternative, cryosurgery, the more he knew it was right for him. The biggest thing was the non-evasiveness. I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to cutting and surgery and recovery. And with the cryo, I walked in the hospital on a Tuesday, had my surgery, and I walked out on Wednesday. Prostate cryotherapy, which essentially involves freezing the prostate, has been practiced with limited success since the 1980s. But recent technological advances have dramatically improved the effectiveness and greatly reduced the potential dangers of this treatment. As this technology was applied early on, uh, it had quite a learning curve. And you had to learn to turn off these probes far before you reached the boundaries that you wanted to freeze. And if you didn't, you froze tissue adjacent to them. Now, with smaller probes and the ability to precisely control the freeze, doctors can destroy the cancerous prostate cells without endangering adjacent critical structures. Consequently, cryosurgery is a very viable option and its impact is immediate. With cryosurgery, when you apply the cold temperature to the areas that you've determined are the areas that need to have this application, those cells are destroyed right now. In his career, Dr. Riemann Schneider has performed hundreds of radical prostatectomies, and he's been involved with virtually every type of treatment for prostate cancer. He firmly believes that cryosurgery is giving patients another alternative, in some cases, even patients for whom other therapies have failed. And an extremely rigorous follow-up on his patients continues to strengthen his belief. More than a year after his cryosurgery, Don Day is a believer, too. I had a biopsy about a month ago. Took uh, six samples, three on each side, and they all came back negative. I'm convinced I made the right decision. <laughs> Cryotherapy is also beginning to show promise as an effective treatment option for cancers that occur in other parts of the body, in the kidney, for example, and the liver.